Yo guys, uh, so Steve's taking lunch, so I'm getting back to training stuff. Um, that room is pretty empty, and now it's just a lot of organizing, which is what you're gonna see Steve probably do after lunch. Um, but I've definitely uh, cut away as much time as I possibly can to help out with that, and now I gotta get back to the grind. So, peace. And apparently those banks have some internal memo that was sent to their financial advisor saying that we're not allowed to sign these letters because we don't fund the cannabis deals and stuff. Wow. Fun times. Yeah, yeah so now it's like fucking another headache. But my guy at RBC will sign my letters, he said. I called <laughs> the ADCO and, and said, does it have to be any, can any representative of the bank sign or does it have to be somebody specific? And yeah. she's like, any, any representative will sign. So. The guy that does my mortgages and stuff for me, yeah, he's gonna he knows sign. I have the equity, equity in the properties and stuff yeah. like that. So uh, he said, okay, sign for you and your wife and son, no problem. Okay, yeah, but we got... I can't sign for other people that aren't my clients or anything like that, right? Dude, name. But uh, not everybody is as uh, motivated to get these other signs as I am, right? So Yeah, yeah, totally. Um... Uh, we, the guys at uh, Boston Pizza went to uh, some credit union, and that credit union was like, "Hey, we can only sign you sign a letter if you actually put the money in the account, uh, three hundred thousand, and then we'll sign the letters. So the funds have to be in the account." Yeah. Which makes sense, right? Because if you yeah. don't have an account there, there's no funds there. Yeah, exactly. Like then, that's. Uh, yeah, that that's. Would be a problem, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, uh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you called me because I haven't been pushing on getting figuring out this letter of credit, and now I'm. It's definitely going to be on the top of my list today. I know you're working hard on this, buddy. So just keep me posted. Um, I'm going to call my bank now. I'll. Uh, I'll hit you back okay. up later today. And then is it is this conference call on? I never got a text. I got a call from, um, and I don't have his number programmed in my phone. You know the guy. Yeah, Kermit. I got a call from Kermit. I don't have his phone number in my phone. Um, and so it was like a call, a conference call between like sometime today and I haven't heard back. Um, do you know? Okay, I'll follow up with Kermit. I, they called me yesterday and they were trying to arrange a call between uh, you and Steve. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I just told Kermit to reach out to you directly to find out your availability and stuff. Right? So. Yeah, which is totally, totally fine. I just let you know yeah. that. I told him my availability and then I haven't heard from him, so I just don't know if it's on or not. So. Okay, no problem. Let me, I'll give him a call. Okay, sounds good, buddy. And, uh, I'll call you back. Okay. Okay, bye. Well, you guys kind of heard it, but um, issues with banking for Canada for this application, and so working on that. And uh, now I got to go into meetings that unfortunately you don't guys get to see. So, peace. <laughs>
It might be. Uh, but I think... And then I was just literally going through and I was just realizing, like, fuck, man, we need to have such a detailed section for all the legal stuff that was required from the Liquor Control Board and the AGCO, a Department of Health. And so, you know, there just is a lot different of working in this for, and this is just training for a manager, like someone just managing to run a store. There's so much that they have to kind of take in and understand and that we want to provide them so that they can be successful in the position. So, um, but have to come back and fight another day. Um, and uh, you'll probably see this gone tomorrow because uh, hopefully we'll start doing some more filming to start making some more inroads on this. Um, let me show you real quick before I get out of here. <coughs> Just want to show you Steve's end of day progress. Obviously, you guys saw a lot of time lapse on us working on that. You also got to get a little info from uh, um, uh, James on what is going on in his world what he's working on so a lot of the staff members are kind of grabbing cameras and just kind of enjoying this so uh, it's not done and we're going with pink but oh that looks a lot better so kind of this shelf is probably the first best polish where it's like dude everything is in line even things that are normally on something you still have a home so if we take it off or adjust it as a home that's always a problem is some people forget like oh man well this thing's on here well it may not always be on there like that still needs a home so one down one kind of in progress and uh, we got some more work to do but uh, <laughs> Steve is also kind of rethinking some of the camera setup so we pulled some of the gear out and we're like oh man maybe we should do this so he's looking at having this just always set up, ready to go uh, for training or the uh, podcast. Obviously, we have our um, uh, teleprompter here from Prompter People. Um, shout out to those guys. Um, obviously, not a sponsor of our content. Um, but he's going GH5 here, so we can just switch between anything. We obviously have the duplicate GH5 there. Uh, so that's going to be still kind of the primary vlog uh, camera. Uh, obviously, if you want to know our thoughts on all these different cameras, uh, we have quite a few videos where we just talk about it. We don't really do gear reviews here um, because, you know, not our business. And then he actually just, this is his new idea. So you guys are probably going to see these back in action. Uh, these are the ones that were just at my desk, these two. And so uh, just so, like, literally we want to go into podcast mode and then just flip it out. And now we're in training mode. And in theory where they're at you won't be able to see them when we're doing the training videos but uh, they're literally just gonna be like just off camera um so that's kind of uh i guess these bad boys are going to take a little bit of the back burner on those stands and so those will have to get uh, put away but that's kind of the the main progress today um just so you know uh if you want a little bit of a follow-up <laughs> on the hard drive like so yesterday you saw like me just counting hard drives and that kind of stuff no joke you literally saw me if you be there were three more fucking hard drives sitting right here that i completely missed those are all uh five terabytes and then oh these ones i also missed so these are all six terabytes six terabytes six terabytes three terabytes six terabytes six terabytes so um we're definitely over 60 plus and i hope one of you guys actually does the math and just tells me because uh, we're uh, we're definitely I think pretty close to 300 uh, terabytes um, and the other thing is we never got it to work but I think Steve's gonna give it another go those boxes that hold eight um, units we have another one of them it's right there we try we contacted people said it wouldn't work they never took it back so maybe we'll try and fix it again I don't know but, um, but yeah guys the mess hasn't gotten any prettier in this room so we're taking it one shelf at a time to see what we're going to do. But that's today's vlog, guys, and we will see you bright and early tomorrow. Peace.